I want to talk a little bit about how to make less mistakes when you're playing the judo. And particularly one thing, because there's an obvious answer, you need to practice more and you need to put more attention to it. That's right, that's all that's all good. But there is one very concrete thing that we usually don't notice, we humans, us humans, that the mistake has actually happened before its manifestation. If you understand what I mean. But let me give you an example if you don't. You come on a stage and you play the drone and you just miss it. And you can feel, oh, I missed at that point, I missed the drone. But no, you missed it before. In the moment when you were approaching the mouthpiece, your lips, they disconnected and you didn't notice because you didn't pay that attention in that moment that you need to put your lips properly on the mouthpiece and then play the drone. Or you play air code and it doesn't resonate. You know, it doesn't have big sustain. It has this and you can feel Oh, I made a mistake with the, the separation or something because this is this is the moment where you actually heard it but actually probably you didn't put your lips in the proper position or um, um, you didn't make enough pressure and that happened the moment before I mean separation is also important the timing of separation is important don't get me wrong you can make the mistake right at that time as well it's also true but usually it is the moment before, you know, you, you make a mistake and you're playing, you got out of the rhythm, but actually you got out of the breath before that and your body started collapsing. And then, you know, it manifested into your tumbling down the stairs in terms of air coming uh, into the tube. Very, you know, out of control and you're just trying to survive. So I recommend if you notice your pattern of mistaking, that you don't mistake it, that it happened at that moment, but give it uh, um, a possibility, open this question, if it could have happened a moment before it manifested, and see how you felt at that moment, see um, on what was going on in the body and um, see if you can find actually a pattern of making you make mistakes okay and that is a very powerful knowledge because this is this autocorrect this really that really works um, sometimes it's really the biggest failure in the universe but this autocorrect when you can notice what's going on in your body the self-observation is one of the key elements of learning and um, Sure, you can have teachers to help you learn something, but ultimately the learning has to come in you. I can't really teach you something. You know, nobody can. That, that understanding, that mm, realization, it always comes in you and you are somehow always your own teacher. And sometimes it comes consciously and sometimes subconsciously or some a mixture of both. Um, but more consciousness you have in the process of um, which you are manifesting, the more chance you have that you will navigate through it and observe in that time sequence how things happened. And many times mistake happened actually before it manifested. This has proven to be very true for my playing and I've seen many people do that. So I hope you can take this general advice into practice. Thank you, um, spiral out, keep digging and keep subscribing and liking these amazing videos. Thank you so much.